Okay, so you know how when you smoke marijuana, you usually have a stress-free and relaxed time? Well, here's my story where the exact opposite happened. So prepare yourselves for an anxiety-ridden first-time smoking pot experience. Okay, so, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how I started partying and drinking after I broke up with my high school sweetheart. Well, I started hanging out with a different group of friends in college, and I was partying and drinking almost every weekend, as you do, when one night, I was invited to hang out at a random person's apartment in the city I wasn't too familiar with by a friend I didn't know too well at the time. So, yeah, it's kind of sketchy, but there was free booze, so, hey, I am fucking there. So me and my buddy Keith meet up at his house before we go over to his friend's apartment. So I arrive at his house around 8, 8 p.m. He gets in my car and starts to give me directions to his buddy's apartment because I don't have a fucking clue where I'm at. And this part of town that we were going to was jam-packed of one-way streets and a fuck ton of college housing, which all looks identical. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. Anyway, we get there, and I have to park on the street down the road from the apartment because all these other parking spots are taken up by college students. We get up, and we start walking to the apartment. Keith's buddy finally buzzes us in. He opens the door, and it's like maybe six people inside, and I'm like, fuck. I thought this was a fucking party. What the fuck is this shit? So I find a, I find a small spot on the couch, waiting for more people to arrive, so this party could get fucking going. About 20 minutes go by, and the only, uh, only one other person shows up, and I'm just thinking, well, this party's lame. But then I notice... Keith's buddy, Eric, starts to open up his uh, apartment windows and putting some fans aimed at the window. I, at first, I didn't think anything of it, but then I see Eric whip out a water bong and some of that Devil's Mary Dank Jane lettuce juana and start ripping hits bigger than a small town hick rolling coal out of his daddy's lifted Cummings. <laughs> at this moment in time, I'm just like, Thinking to myself, what the fuck did I just sign up for? I'm just a good little innocent college kid just trying to bum a few beers. <laughs> Next thing I know, the bong's passed to me. And I just look at Eric like, what the fuck do you want me to do with this, bud? What do you want me to do with this flower vase, bud? And then I told him, I didn't really think I should smoke. But they all insisted that I at least try it once. So now I'm at a crossroads of try it and see what happens or go against what I thought was right and wrong. And I think there's a point in everyone's life <clears throat> where they are put in a situation that they don't want to be in. And the choice that they make in that moment kind of dictates what they perceive as terrible and not so bad. As opposed to what they used to believe before trying new things or whatever they were doing in that situation that being said i take a big ass rip off of this bong trying to get as much smoke just allowed in my lungs while <laughs> meanwhile eric is coaching me on like as if i was training for the olympics in the dank ripathon so i cough up my lungs because i essentially just ate a skunk's ass and i'm thinking that's it. I mean, I don't really feel anything. So I just passed the bong along and got up to get a drink. I get my ice cold beer and then I come back and sit on the couch. And as soon as I sat down, like, I feel it hit me like, <laughs> FUCKED! I, I was so fucked. I remember that this small one bedroom apartment felt like a mansion. Like, I got up to talk with these two girls that were in the kitchen, which seemed like a mile away. And then they just started asking me, like, what I was going to school for and whatnot. And the whole time I was talking to them, in my head, I was just like, Oh my god, I'm so high. Do they know I'm high? I can't let them know that I'm high. How high is high? Like, 
like on a scale of one to ten, I was higher than giraffe pussy. So about a half hour goes by, and I'm back on the couch. I don't know how I got there, and I'm just chilling, just about to fall asleep. When all of a sudden, Keith fucking nudges me and says, "Oh hey, we're going back to my house to uh, fucking go to bed." So I'm like, "Uh, okie dokie. Guess that sounds like a swell idea." So we go. So we start to walk out to the car. But what I didn't know is that Keith was going to ride back with another friend that was staying at his house. And I was going to follow them. But it's like, it's almost like 4 in the morning. It's pitch black. I don't know where the fuck I am or how to get back to Keith's house because it's it's a city I've never driven in. And plus, I'm all kinds of fuckered up. So I get in my car and I just start to follow Keith's buddy. I'm driving super extra careful because my body feels like it's trying to catch up to my head every time I was braking or turning. Like, the best way I could describe it is it felt like earth lag. Anyway, we're driving on the same, some main road, and Keith's buddy, of course, the cliche, he turns into a Taco Bell. So I, I follow because I have no idea where to go. So I pull through this drive-thru, and I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I get a single beefy Frito burrito, and I'm just trying to keep my cool so the the cashier doesn't think I'm high. But it's like 3 in the morning, and I just ordered a single beefy Frito burrito and paid with quarters that I had to look for in my cup, my change cup thing that I had in my car. (laughs) And... <clears throat> we, as I'm waiting for this beefy Frito burrito, Keith's, Keith's buddy just leaves. He just leaves. He doesn't wait. He just pulls out and just goes straight down the road, like, out of sight. But I'm so fucked up, I don't even think about it. I just get back on the road and just, like, go whatever direction I thought they went in hopes that I find them, like, out in, out in the blue somewhere. And I don't even remember what car they're driving. Like, I didn't I didn't see what car they left it. I eventually catch up to them at a stoplight, and then I just follow them the rest of the way. And then when I get home, I passed out on my buddy's couch. I didn't even eat the beefy Frito burrito. But, to be fair, it was probably the best night of sleep I've ever had. So, I guess if there's anything to take of this... If you're, if there's anything that you can take away from this story, is if your buddy smokes weed with you for the first time, don't be a fuck ass and make them drive or try to fucking find their way home in a city that they've never driven any poor. Because they got, they got so much shit on their plate as it is. Like, just don't be that guy. Well,. I hope you all enjoyed this story. Now, if you like these short stories that I've been telling, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me as a content creator. And I appreciate everything that that you do. Just watching, liking, commenting, anything. Alright, that's going to do it for me, everybody. See ya.